I've been sitting on this video for a few months now because I really wanted to feel it out first. But I figured it's interesting enough to share. What's up everybody? I am back and the market is not, unfortunately. Every time I see my portfolio go red, I always think to myself like, oh, should I have cashed out to USDC or fiat even? Or should I have like maybe borrowed more against my assets? So if you clicked on this video, maybe you've been thinking the same thing and hedging with a Bitcoin synthetic dollar could be our friend. I actually still think that we'll probably crab a little more until potential rate cuts in September and then have the next major leg up. And if that's the case, then there's a couple opportunities to hedge. None of this is financial advice. So the first method would be to just borrow against all of your assets using Liquidium, like I showed you in this video, or was it over here? Or second method, you could cash out to the synthetic Bitcoin dollar without leaving Bitcoin. Hear me out. I really just want to like condense it down to the meat and bones. There's actually a couple of Bitcoin dollars out right now, but in this video, I just want to focus on the first one, which is in USD or Nakamoto dollar. First, I want to talk about what a synthetic dollar is because it's often confused with a stable coin and they're not the same thing. A synthetic dollar mimics the value of a dollar without being pegged to it or being backed by you know, holding the dollar or other traditional assets. Typically, you can create them through smart contracts or collateralization on blockchain platforms. The advantages would be obviously using them in DeFi protocols without the need for direct fiat exposure. So that way you can just keep all your capital, keep the liquidity and financial activity within the same system. It's not a stable coin because a stable coin pegs its value to the USD or any other fiat by holding reserves of that fiat or an algorithm. And if you've been in crypto long enough, you know algorithms don't really work. So the popular staple coins are like USDT, USDC, and DAI. And the whole point of trying to use like a stable coin or a synthetic dollar is to reduce the volatility in the crypto space and support liquidity, because those two are very important. For one, if you look at the TVL of Ethereum ecosystem, which is like the largest right now, you'll see that a lot of it actually comes from DeFi and stable coins. And if you go by market cap on CoinGecko, the third and sixth largest are stable coins. So there's this protocol called bank.fi and apparently it was like a typo, whether intentional or not. They claim to be a synthetic dollar protocol built on Bitcoin layer one, which is the most decentralized and secure and providing a crypto native solution for money not reliant on the traditional banking system alongside the Bitcoin bond. And there's options right now to buy either BAMP or NUSD. BAMP is like the incentive token, it's a rune. And NUSD is both a BRC20 and a rune. Right now the market cap is 4.8 million. So BAMP Phi is the issuer of the Nakamoto dollar or NUSD. BAMP is also the name of the incentive token for holding the NUSD. And there's two phases. Phase one, and USD is backed one-to-one -one by USDE, which is the Athena synthetic dollar. For every block that you hold in USD in your wallet, you accrue BAMP, the incentive token. In phase two, and USD will be fully backed by a Delta neutral um, Bitcoin position, earning a native yield, which is why they're calling it the Bitcoin bond. And if you're asking like, oh, what does Delta neutral mean? Well, this is where it can get real technical real fast. A little bit of TradFi math. A delta neutral portfolio means that despite the assets you hold going up or down, your portfolio value remains the same. For example, Bitcoin is trading at 69,000. Your portfolio holds $10,000 worth of Bitcoin, which at that price would be about 0.14492. To keep it delta neutral, you would simultaneously open a Bitcoin short position worth 10K on the perpetuals pair. So now, whether Bitcoin goes to 150K or down to 20K, your portfolio theoretically remains valued at 10K. Because you're going both long and short in equal amounts at the same time, which cancels each other out. TradFi math is like better than girl math. Now about the Bitcoin bond, right? The yield, like where is this yield coming from? 
basically the yield comes from funding rates. In trading perpetuals, there's something called a funding rate, which dictates whether long positions are paying shorts or vice versa. And according to them, over 74% of the time, long positions are paying shorts. They say this means the issuance of Nakamoto dollars comes with its own native yield, the Bitcoin bond. So obviously there's gonna be a lot of nuances to this, but I'm gonna link all the documentation below so that you can go deep dive. For the average trader, they're incentivizing people on top of the yield with a token, which is only governance for now, but supposedly more utilities will be added later. Hey, making a video, baby. The incentive token is a rune, which was etched on April 21st of this year with a max supply of 21 billion. Its ticker is Vamp of Nakamoto dollar, and 6.25% of the supply was a free mint. For season one incentives, an additional 6.25% of the supply are being offered as incentives to all in USD holders, meaning that you buy and hold in USD in your wallet, and for every block that you hold it, you accrue these BAMP tokens. Their duration is about 291 days. Start block here, end block here, with a vesting of this amount of 31,250 tokens per block after the last N block. The earlier that you own and hold in USD, uh, the earlier you will start to receive the BAMP token. They've also introduced BAMP incentives for dot swap liquidity providers too. Who is the team behind BAMP? Dot five. 1177 Degens and counting. The core team has mostly been doxxed if you've been active enough on X or Telegram. Really? Guys, just like dox or don't, don't? What, what is this? Anyways, is it funded by VCs? No. Uh, what is the utility? Governance? TBA? Is it a typo? Yes. Fun fact. The term Naka dollar was coined by Arthur Hayes. Now, what prevents the team from running away with the collateral? Uh, technically nothing, <laughs> but they claim that their incentives prevents this. Using Tether and Circle as an example, they could also run away, but they don't because of legal reasons and profit incentives, that there's no point running away with one lump sum and be on the run from law enforcement forever when if we do the right thing, we can keep earning perpetually. Tether recorded a net profit of 4.52 billion this quarter. And are they sharing any of that with USDT holders? Huh, hell no. A quick backstory, Tether, the issuer of USDT, they're stable coins, meaning that they buy USD and traditional assets like bonds and CDs earning a yield that they then keep to themselves while they also take money from users who want the USDT that they issue. So essentially they're the intermediary between you, the buyer, and the US government. But instead of me getting the yield from the financial assets that I am providing the liquidity for, they are keeping the yield. So. I hope this protocol works. There's obviously gonna be risk in everything. Um, nothing is risk-free, not even treasury bonds, but I like the idea of getting a yield from a Bitcoin dollar because not only do I have the option and convenience of keeping all my assets and financial activities within the Bitcoin ecosystem, but I can also earn a yield at the same time. So this is the directory. You can see we're about 24% complete. So there's still plenty of time if you want to, um, to participate in the protocol, there's a calculator that tells you, you know, how much money you get per day um, based off the BAMP price. So like if the BAMP pumps, you know, you get more in USD value, potentially. Potentially. Here's all of their socials, their web. This is the Runes trading platform locations. Um, I believe Magic Eden has the highest liquidity and trading activity. You can already lend and borrow against this on Liquidium, which is pretty cool, and further adds to its legitimacy. Um, there's more data dashboards, Genie data, CoinGecko. Um, this is the Nakamoto dollar. This is the BRC marketplaces, the Rune version. The only real difference between these two is like the user experience. And for me, I prefer runes. Tons of community links and spaces and articles and 
uh, even languages. So if tu hablas español, you can always go here. Uh, I recommend, you know, like maybe watching a few interviews with Jack Liu, who is one of the docs team members. They're pretty long, but kind of interesting if you have the time. And then obviously the telegram if you like chaos. <laughs> yeah, that's it for this video. If you like the content, hit like and subscribe for this kitty right here. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.